Mewtwo King is most known for his clinical and almost robotic style of play that comes from his immense knowledge of melee down to the most minute details. He is also among the handful of top players who consistently switches between a handful of characters depending on the matchup and player he is playing against. This begs the question, which of Mewtwo King's characters is his best? And as always, the data used in this video is sourced from every VOD I could find on Mewtwo King playing a top 100 player this year. This totaled to around 229 individual games that I took data from the VOD and put into Excel and Tableau to analyze. So first off, let's look at the most telling statistic that can be drawn from the data, each character's overall win rates. Coming in first with the highest overall win rate is Sheik with a 69% win rate, followed fairly closely by Marth at 65%. Then hanging out in the last place is his Fox with a 46% win rate, which makes a lot of sense as it is relocated to mainly play Hungrybox, although it has been brought out for one game both against Plup and Wizzy this year. This gap slightly widens to 6% when you shrink down the data to just the top 25, and then interestingly enough, shrinks down to a negligible 3% gap versus the other members of the top 10. With this small of a gap between Sheik and Marth, it's hard to say which one of these two is objectively better, so let's look at the win rate versus the top 10 on a stage to stage basis. Marth has a monumentally better win rate on Battlefield and a slightly better win rate on FD, whereas Sheik actually has wins on Yoshi's alongside a slightly better win rate on Fountain and Dreamland. Neither of the characters take the edge on Pokemon Stadium as they both have a 50% win rate. The other data that we have to compare the aptitude of these two characters is average stocks remaining at the end of the game and average game length. Both of these data points bring back results that don't strongly favor either character. In average stocks remaining in games versus the top 10, Marth beats out Sheik by only 0.03 stocks remaining. And with average game length, Sheik loses the Marth by only 4 seconds. There's also no 4 stocks to push the conclusion one way or another, because Mewtwo King has not 4 stocked anyone in the top 100 this year, and the two times he has gotten 4 stocked was on Fox at Frame Perfect 2 and Peach at Dreamhack Austin. So after tallying the score sheet, what is Mewtwo King's conclusively best character? I would have to say Sheik, but only by a super slight margin over Marth. The closeness of the stats between the two characters really shows that at the highest level of competitive melee, the talent of the player matters a whole lot more than the character chosen. However, the data does show how important of a factor stage selection is for each character with the variation of win rate per stage. And although we left Mewtwo King's Fox out of contention for being his best character, we should still give the attention it deserves and see what information we can get from it. It's interesting to note that his Fox actually has a much better win rate on Fountain of Dreams versus the top 10 at 75% versus Sheik's 64 and Mars 45%. But what is more interesting to look at is what his win rates are like on every stage versus Hungrybox and to see what stages Mewtwo King should be counterpicking to against him. His best stage against Hungrybox is that 75% win rate on Fountain of Dreams followed by his 54% win rate on Battlefield. Next tied at third are FD and Stadium which both sit at a 44% win rate and a record of 4 and 5. Last with no surprise we have Dreamland at an expected abysmal 22% win rate. As for Yoshi's story, Hungrybox and Mewtwo King have not played a single game on the stage this year, which makes a lot of sense as Yoshi's story is Mewtwo King's lowest win rate stage versus the top 10, and Hungrybox isn't going to pick him there either. So the hierarchy of how Mewtwo King should counterpick is pretty straightforward from the data, uh, with there probably being a slight favorite of Pokemon Stadium over FD because of the lower ceilings. Yeah, so that's about it for the video. This time I tried to focus more on answering the question at hand instead of what I did in the Hungrybox video where I sort of just laid out a bunch of interesting facts about Hungrybox's stats that I got from his information. So if you like this style more, leave a comment down below or if you want more of the Hungrybox where I'm just giving you interesting facts and then sort of answering the question, uh, yeah, just leave a comment about that down below. And again, I turn the question over to you. Who would you want to see next? I'm sort of favoring Plup after his big recent victory and his multiple characters that I could analyze, but I'm, I'm down to do everything. You guys really wanted to do Mew wanted to see Mewtwo King, and it was really interesting because I got to compare all the different characters, but whatever you guys want to do, I'll see that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, if you want to see previews of what's coming up, I should have another video out this week. Uh, follow me over at, at SavesUntitled on Twitter, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks again so much for watching my video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.